Hasselblad, a brand well known for its ability to produce high and medium format cameras and optics. It has been around the camera market for more than a hundred years now. The history of Hasselblad is versatile enough to make you thrilled. From World War to NASA, from aerial cameras to space cameras, Hasselblad had always been a trusted name for its consistent and high quality performance. In this video, we are going to discuss the glorious history of Hasselblad and how it contributed to the most historic moments of mankind. So without further ado, let's jump in. To know the inception of Hasselblad, we have to go back to Gothenburg in Sweden where Victor Hasselblad founded a small trading business named F.W. Hasselblad & Company in 1841. As it was a successful startup, Victor wished his son Arvid Hasselblad to hold the legacy and with that aim, he involved his son in his business. Arvid Hasselblad was a photographic enthusiast and persuaded his father to establish a photographic division in the company. At first, the photographic division was not expected to make a profit for the enterprise unless Arvid Hasselblad met George Eastman on his honeymoon trip. That meeting turned into a business relationship and in 1888, Hasselblad earned the reputation of being the sole distributor of Eastman's product in Sweden. A rapidly growing photography division of Hasselblad led to the creation of a separate firm, the Hasselblad Photographiska AB in 1908. The company operated a chain of shops and photo labs across the country. After that, Carl Eric Hasselblad, who was Arvid's son, took over the management of the company. Eric's son, Victor Hasselblad, had a vast interest in cameras and optics. Recognizing his son's passion, Eric sent him to Dresden, Germany at the age of 18 so that he could learn more about photography industry and optics manufacturing. Victor spent many years in Europe and the United States to get a better insight of the photography business. He even worked with George Eastman during that time. The next big opportunity for Hasselblad came during World War II when a German aerial surveillance camera was recovered from a downed German plane by the Swedish military. Victor Hasselblad already had a good reputation in Sweden for being a camera expert. Realizing the importance of aerial surveillance cameras, the Swedish government approached Victor with the Seize camera in 1940 and proposed him to make an identical copy of that camera. With the help of some talented co-workers, Victor was able to make the first aerial surveillance camera for Hasselblad named HK7 that used 18mm film and a Zeiss Biotester lens. During the war, Hasselblad manufactured about 340 cameras for the Swedish military. Though for the time being, the company's focus shifted towards producing military cameras, but Victor was more into making consumer-grade cameras. So when the war was over, Victor again started working for civilian cameras and in 1948, he came up with the 1600F camera. It was the first consumer-grade 6x6 camera of Hasselblad, which included interchangeable Kodak lenses, film magazines, and viewfinders. However, it was a delicate camera and was not very durable, so Hasselblad came up with a more advanced camera in 1952, the 1000F, and it gained enormous popularity among the camera enthusiasts who tested this camera in many ways. The camera was even deliberately dropped to test its endurance and it passed all the tests successfully. After the success of 1000F, Victor was looking for ways to improve the camera further. With that aim, he made some prototypes in 1953. Finally, a more advanced camera, the 500C, was launched in 1957. This camera featured a leaf shutter design instead of the focal plane shutter used in the 1000F. It also included a range of high-quality Carl Zeiss lenses. One of the most prestigious incidents for Hasselblad is its contribution to space photography and moon photography. The company formed a business relation with NASA in 1962. Previously, NASA had a bad experience with space photography 
and looking for more advanced camera manufacturers for their upcoming space missions. Walter Skira, an astronaut of NASA and photography enthusiast, owned a Hasselblad 500C lens with f2.8 aperture during that time. The high-quality Hasselblad 500C camera prompted Skira to recommend Hasselblads for NASA space photography. Impressed by the features and form factor of Hasselblad 500C, NASA was interested in a more sophisticated and custom-made Hasselblad camera. Hasselblad also responded by tailoring the 500C camera and removed its auxiliary shutter, reflex mirror, leather covering, and viewfinder. The camera was also made capable of 70 exposure instead of 12. Besides being able to withstand lack of gravity, the camera was also made durable enough to survive and perform in extreme weather conditions ranging from 120 degrees Celsius in the sun and minus 65 degrees Celsius in the shade. This custom-made camera was first used on the Mercury 8 space mission. Wally Skira, who was one of the astronauts of the Mercury 8 mission, captured high-quality images while orbiting around the sun. And that's how Hasselblad became the first camera to travel space. Later on, Hasselblad also gained the reputation to capture the first spacewalk during the Gemini 4 mission in 1965. One of the most historic moments for Hasselblad is when it was chosen as the camera to capture the images of the first moon landing on the Apollo 11 mission in 1969. A silver Hasselblad data camera or HDC was attached to the chest of astronaut Armstrong. After capturing the first human step on the moon, the camera was left behind on the moon's surface and only film magazines were taken to cut extra weight. And that is how Hasselblad earned the reputation of being the first camera to capture the most historic moment of mankind, the first moon landing. The Hasselblad x band was released in September 1998 to provide medium format image quality on 35mm film. The x band was a dual format camera that can switch between panorama and 35mm format. The cameras used in the x band series were rebranded cameras of Fuji TX1 and TX2. The 8 system was released in Photokina in September 2002. This modular system allows users to change the sensor of the camera and choose between 100 and 400 megapixel solutions. Hasselblad is the first camera manufacturer to market such a high megapixel modular medium format camera. A new medium format mirrorless camera line was introduced by Hasselblad in June 2016, the X1D. It was the world's first mirrorless camera to feature a medium format 43.8 by 32.9mm CMOS sensor. Along with the camera, the XED mount lenses were also launched. An upgraded version X1D 250C was released in June 2019 with the same medium format sensor but at an affordable price point and faster performance. So that was all about the history of Hasselblad. We have seen how the visions of Victor Hasselblad paved the way for a better future for the company. The contribution of Hasselblad to space and the moon landing is also unforgettable. The company is continuing to amaze us with cameras like X1D. Moreover, DJI acquired the majority of the stakes of Hasselblad and this can be a turning point for the company. So do you think Hasselblad can still make its way in competition with big players like Canon, Sony, Nikon and others? Please let us know in the comment section.